Hey guys, I'm so sorry it's been so long since my last video, um, and I'm hoping I can explain why I've been gone for so long. But um, before I do that, I just wanted to mention that I took a slightly different approach in this video as far as the editing goes. Um, so what you're seeing here is a lot more work and hopefully um, since it's a little bit more slowed down, you can see what I'm drawing and what I'm doing in the program a little bit better. So let me know in the comments if you guys like this style of editing for my videos instead of a straight up uh, time lapse sped up video. I have condensed it down to very, very short little clips to show in real time what I'm doing but sped up by removing all the in-between moments of me figuring out what I'm doing. <laughs> Let me know if you like it. But anyway, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a story time on the traumatic event that happened to me last year. Um, literally days before, or maybe even a day before, I posted my last full-fledged video on my channel that wasn't a short um, or a re-upload from my TikTok, um, something pretty crazy happened. Uh, I was off work and I was just relaxing and my feet and my calves were so sore. I work in food, so my legs are very tired after a long day. Let's just keep it at that. And um, I was just in so much pain and I needed to stretch out so bad. I was hoping that maybe if I could stretch my calves out, my whole legs and my feet would stop hurting as much because I thought the problem was in my calves. So I was doing some calf stretches and then I looked over and I saw that my boyfriend had an exercise band that he uses to stretch out mostly his arms. And it's a very high resistance exercise band. I think it's the highest resistance one that he has. So I was like, oh, let me stretch out my calves. This is a great idea. Okay, no, this was a terrible idea. This was the worst idea that I could have ever had in my life. And no one would have ever thought that, but here we go, dumb me decides to use an exercise band and I screw it up somehow. <laughs> So I stretched my calf out while I was sitting down. Don't do this, anyone. Um, make sure when you use exercise bands that you're standing on them if you're going to stretch out your legs or something. I don't really know how you would use an exercise band and not do this to yourself. I don't know if maybe I should have been wearing shoes. I wasn't wearing shoes. I don't know. Anyway, I was sitting on my couch and I had the band under my feet and I pulled it back and I stretched out my calves fine for a while and then I was just about to finish and I felt like it was making my legs feel better and I was gonna go cook breakfast and as soon as I thought, let me finish and go cook breakfast, the band was still stretched on my feet and it rolled up my feet and smacked me directly in my right eyeball. And right at that moment, I saw a lightning bolt. I saw blackness in that eye and a lightning bolt. And I closed my other eye, so all I saw was blackness. I saw blackness and a blue lightning bolt in my vision. And then I opened my eyes. And honestly, I think when I first opened my eyes, I couldn't see anything at all. It was almost like when you press too hard on your eyeballs and your vision goes away for a second and then it fades back in. So my vision faded back in for a second and it was blurry in that right eye, but I could see. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> this all happened within like a millisecond. All of a sudden, this blurry vision in my right eye starts getting filled in the center with black, right? So it's like black, ink flowing out from the center of my vision and it's covering my entire vision 
And obviously this story is going to be a little bit graphic and I am planning on showing pictures, but this inky black substance flowing into my vision was the blood from my bruised iris from my eyeball. So the iris is the colored part of your eyeball um, and it's the part that opens and closes the black hole that is your pupil in your eyeball and it allows more or less light to enter your eyeball. It also helps focus your eyes when you're looking at things and uh, this part of my eyeball was bruised when I hit it with the exercise band. So I ran upstairs to the bathroom and I looked in the mirror and the first thing that I saw was a little bit of blood pouring out of the pupil and the most noticeable thing which was pretty scary at the time and I was freaking out um, was that that eyeball's pupil the black part of the eye was huge it was so big it was blown out I looked like David Bowie it was insane and it was bleeding and it was filling with blood really fast. So I was freaking out. I was like, oh, that's it. You did it. You did the biggest dumb that you've ever did dumb. You did a dumb and you can't undumb this dumb. That was stupid. That was the dumbest thing that you've ever done. Good job. <laughs> so uh, I panicked and uh, I texted my boyfriend who was at work and he was in a building with no cell phone reception. Great. So I was texting him and calling him and he wasn't answering. Um, and I only did that for like a minute because I figured that was stupid anyway. So right after that, I called 911 and uh, that's probably the smart thing to do. You should probably call 911 first, guys. Um, but yes, I called 911 and, uh, I remained shockingly calm because I probably was in shock. <laughs> and then, uh, they answered and they were really helpful and they sent somebody over really quick. They told me to relax and sit down which I didn't do and I should have probably listened to them but I ran and grabbed a bag of stuff um which is stupid don't do that if you ever get hit in the eye because I probably could have started getting dizzy really soon for some reason that didn't happen probably because I was in shock but um I wasn't dizzy at the moment but I did end up getting dizzy later um from the unequal vision in my eyes uh, but I kept my eye closed and I grabbed my stuff, waited for the ambulance. I sat out front and they took me in the ambulance on a stretcher. And all of a sudden, while I was just chit chatting with the EMS guy and telling him what happened and everything was fine. And I was just holding my eye shut and, uh, I started like panicking and having an anxiety attack. And I'm not sure if it was related to the getting hit in the eye or what happened but I like felt like I was gonna pass out and it was really strange and the guy calmed me down and I cannot remember his name but whoever you are you're awesome if you ever happen to come across my video I don't think you would you probably have absolutely no memory of me considering how much you probably deal with on a daily basis but um I appreciate you calming me down when I was freaking out um, I don't know if I would have passed out or what would have happened. Um, but anyway, I got to the hospital and they threw me in a bright room and I guess the light started making me nauseous. So I ended up having to throw up. It, it was a mess. Um, and I took pictures of my face when I was able to and when I was not nauseous for a minute. Um, and I'm going to show them to you. Uh, there's going to be a timestamp so you can skip over if you don't want to view the pictures, but they are a little bit graphic. Um, so this is what it looked like when I first hit my eye at the hospital. It was really, really swollen 
and uh, I had a lot of tears and you can see it's kind of filled up. It's really hard to see, but um, it was filled up with a lot of uh, with blood and debris and some sort of like white liquid. It, it was just stuff from inside my eye, I guess, that broke apart was swirling around in there. So uh, not very pleasant. Uh, <laughs> and again, I was very nauseous from the fact that um, the light was entering my one eye way too much because the pupil was so large. Um, on the whole ride to the hospital, I couldn't see out of that eye. It looked like I had a piece of plastic wrap over my eyeball. Uh, it was like a yellow, like, not see-through film over my eye the whole time. And I guess that was just from all the fluid in there. Um, but I ended up keeping my eye shut because that helped stop me from getting as nauseous and panicked. And when I got to the hospital, I opened my eye again to see if it worked. And it, it luckily I could see it was just very, very, very blurry. Um, so they checked me out and they said that I had a scratch cornea and a bruised iris and there was no real idea on how long it was going to take to heal. Um, but it could have been so much worse. Um, and I'm going to show you some pictures now of the progress of my eyeball healing. Uh, the pupil was huge at first and it did get smaller, but it is permanently a little bit bigger than the other one. Uh, it seems like n just recently within the last couple of months, it's gotten way better at seeing in the bright light. I used to have to wear sunglasses like all the time in light and now I don't have to anymore. It seems like that pupil can actually shrink down again in really bright light, but in like medium light, you can really see that they're a different size still. So it's uh, kind of interesting. I almost wish that the visual difference between my eyes was more drastic. So I looked cooler and more crazy and creepy and wacky. Cause if I'm gonna get hit in the eye, I at least want to look cool. It's kind of not fair that it's not that noticeable, but it's still an interesting story to tell people, I guess. Now, as far as my vision goes, um, the first couple of weeks were really rough. My eyes didn't want to coordinate with each other. Um, my right eye was very, very blurry in vision, um, and it was hard to focus on text. I had to make all the text on my phone uh, bigger, and I couldn't look at any screens or TVs that were too bright, so it was very hard to draw. Uh, it was just hard to do a lot of things. It was very hard to focus. It gave me headaches and a lot of pain. But after a couple weeks of healing and my pupil shrinking down a little and everything getting back to normal, um, I'm able to see almost completely normally again, uh, just a little bit blurry in that eye and it's a little bit hard in that one eye specifically to focus far away, but with both eyes working together, it's not too much of an issue. And I can draw again and I'm not light sensitive anymore so I can stare at my tablet screen again. Uh, so I'm very much looking forward to coming back and uploading a lot more frequently again, hopefully. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little story time and this little self-portrait of me, myself, and I. Uh, if you want to know what brushes I use, there's a link in the description. Um, and I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.